Welcome to the iStaff Rotor app tutorial. The iStaff Rotor app can be downloaded from the Play Store or the App Store. Search for iStaff Rotor. When accessing the app for the first time, accept all defaults. You need to allow notifications for the app on your phone settings. Also allow location which is required for clock in. Once you have downloaded the app, you can log in using the credentials you would have received by mail. The same credentials gets you access to the desktop version. You can select the keep me logged in option if you are planning to stay logged for the length of time specified in the company configurations. If you forget your password, do not try it more than three times for fear of being locked. Use the forgot password link to reset. If you are logging in for the first time, you will be redirected to change your password. Select proceed. Re-enter your current and temporary password to validate the redirection. Then enter your new password twice and select change password to save. Then go back to the app and log in with your new password. Once installed, the app can be used as a digital ID as the front page shows the face ID of the employee, their full name, and the company they work for, giving you a user-friendly interface familiar to mobile phone users. Open shifts are published by the manager when no one has been assigned. Select to view the list. Open shifts are sent to users by email and push notification. A list of open shifts will be available for the user to review the details. Click to open. Then click on accept to be booked for work if available for work at the time indicated on the shift detail page. Do not pick a shift you are not certain to fulfill. Again read the warning before your confirmation. Otherwise, dismiss and go back to the list. The user must select booked shifts to see all shifts assigned to them. The user can also select the calendar icon next to booked shifts to see all shifts on the calendar, then select one of the red circles. Then, select the client name to start executing the shift. Dates with a red circle means that you are allocated shifts on these dates. Take note of the refresh icon. You can also use the top calendar icon to view more dates. The address and key safe information can be found at the top of this view. There are two ways to clock in on the app. The green button enables users to clock in by scanning a QR code. You need to allow the picture and video function for the app in order to be able to scan the QR code. When prompted, scan the code to clock in. It is a similar process for clocking out also. The most common way to clock in is via the purple button that uses GPS location. There are controls to ensure that clocking is only done at the required location. A range adjustment to calibrate to GPS reading may be required for certain locations. Once clocked in, you can select the first icon that tells you the function of other icons. The same icons are displayed horizontally. If configured by your company, allergies and end-of-life protocols will be displayed at the top. Select to read or action. The red page shows high-level details of the shift. The bottom of this page show the current position as opposed to the stated address. The instruction page shows an area where generic info can be added by the manager, the user can view who they are working with in the same location. The calendar icon will remind the user of daily event for the service user. The light blue area shows client-specific documents for mandatory reading published by the manager, such as the care plan or automated information such as handover notes. These are recent visit notes entered by staff. To execute the routine tasks related to the shift, the user must select the light calendar icon, then open the tasks list from the relevant time frame. Click on the I icon to expand. There are two ways to complete the routine tasks. To complete each task individually, select the option to the right of the screen. The user must now read, then execute each task, and mark them completed by selecting the relevant action. The routine tasks are set to enable carers to execute the care plan in detail. The user must now read and execute each task and when complete, by selecting the appropriate action before saving. Adding a comment to each task is not mandatory, unless advised by the manager. Adding a note to the task can be done by selecting the pencil icon. And when you are done, save. In case of a double up shift, the second carer can mark all tasks, as, assisted, on their own device. It is a requirement to select administration time and date while completing a medication task. To mark a medication task complete, read the required instruction, execute, select the appropriate action. Adding a note when completing medication is not mandatory. 
but you must select the red pencil to open up the digital signature pad to add a signature with your finger. If signing on a single shift, only one signature is required. For double up shifts, the first signature will be saved as the submitter signature, the second carer must select the pencil icon on their own device to sign as the co-signer. The second way to complete tasks is to complete all tasks at once. You can do this by selecting the plus icon on the left. Then select the type of submission. You can choose to submit all tasks at once, or split them into medication tasks and routine duties. The next steps are to select the routine or medication status to apply to all tasks. Then select the execution time for each group of tasks individually, if doing both. Adding notes is not mandatory but, you must add a signature for medication, then save. Always read all warnings before confirming. To record PRN medication, select the when required section then roll down to see the list, select a medication, then proceed to record as instructed. If administering topical medication, you will see a person icon next to the root. You can select it to see body map area of where it needs to be applied. Use the side icons to switch views. The dark green icon opens a page that allows staff to record visit notes. Type or record via speech to text AI, the user must select the client's mood before adding the note. To add an internal note, that can be seen only within the business, use the light blue icon. You can record or type. Select the brown icon to report an incident. You may type or use a speech to text AI to complete the form. The manager will be informed in real time. For the body map use the dark purple icon, then select the plus icon to add a new item. You can select the body part of concern by touching the area or flipping front or back, then add the issue before selecting the paint scale or taking a careful image or the area while considering privacy. To assess risk related to an outing or other activities, use the activity risk form, complete as required, by typing, or through speech to text. To record care observation, it first needs to be allowed for the service user. Select the plus icon to add, then select the observation title, then add details as per the open form. Taking a picture is available to use where required. The antecedent, behavior, and consequences analysis can be completed by selecting the ABC icon then the plus icon to start, then complete the form that opens. The app also contains an ad hoc mileage reporting functionality. This option allows to record all mileage covered outside the normal shift times, such as taking a client shopping. Select the proposed address when starting to type. You can also use the app to record ad hoc expenses, such as shopping for the client. Select Expense. Complete the form, then take a picture of your receipt, then add and submit. When you are done with reporting care for the shift, clock out. As you clock out, a status of tasks and medication completed will show on your screen. Please verify you have completed all required tasks and added the appropriate notes, as instructed by your manager. Note that the status shows by time frame and you should verify only for the time frames you are involved in. Shifts that have been clocked out automatically move to the done shift section. From this page, staff can continue to add notes to the shifts until it has been approved by the manager. Once you have selected done shifts open by selecting client. As you can see, the same options from the booked shifts are available in the done shifts section. You can continue to add care notes for done shifts. And if required by your manager, scroll to the end to find the signature strip. This page should be presented to the client or supervisor for a digital signature. Only use this option if advised by your office manager. Going back to the main page, there are other functions available. For instance, adding availability and time off. And from the time off page, select the plus icon to request a new time off or add availability. Fill in the form, then submit to your manager. Use the same process to enter your availability. Let's now go back to the main menu page. A secured chat service is available for your operation. The user must select chat to send a secured message to their manager in relation to their work. Then write an internal message to your manager and send. A functionality to read and sign policy or generic documents is available from the home page menu. Select to open the details to read and sign. Staff can also sign their supervision and appraisal forms remotely when they receive a signature request. Select to refresh requests or open the forms page. Open a form and read the summary, 
then you can add your own comments and sign digitally. The system will be updated in real time and the manager advised. To end this section, staff can have access to add calendar items and notes to client diary, if given access. Up to this point, we have covered the main functions for delivery of care by staff. Manager can continue to watch the tutorial from this point on. On the iStaffRota app, there are additional monitoring functionality for the manager. These are found on the yellow strip at the bottom of the screen that contains special functions for the manager. Select the green icon to have an overview of planned shifts. The default view is the current date, but the manager can select any date from the top sliding date bar to display shifts of that date. Notice that the manager's pages have a yellow background. From here the manager can assign or reassign by clicking on the staff image. The manager can also verify the clock in and out times for their staff. Notice that there is a calendar icon that enables the manager to jump to a date. Select to open a calendar view. Similar to other screens, the red circle around a date means that there are shifts on that date. The manager also has the ability to start a shift of any of their staff in case they are not able to clock in. They simply need to click on clock in. Select, yes to clock staff in. Furthermore, the manager has the ability to view all aspects of care delivery executed for each shift by selecting any of the action icons on this page. This includes reading the visit notes that staff are adding in real time. Again from the yellow strip, the manager can select this option to create shifts. Then select a name. Select a location. Default means that the default address on the system will be used for the shift address. Then select a role. Select the shift type is the next step. Then fill in the shift details including the break time. Some of information is pre-populated based on settings. At this stage you can assign a staff, or you can skip to have the chance to publish the shift to your community of users. On the following page, you can either create the shift, or publish the it. From the admin menu page, general notes can be entered for either clients or staff. Or use the microphone icon to record slowly with your voice. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.